Hi, I'm Corythosaurus. That's core rith saurus Do you know what that means? Helmet lizard. It's because of this thing on my head. My herd and I use them to make amazing sounds. Listen. <laughs> Okay, that's not exactly what it's supposed to sound like. It must be all the dust from the volcanoes over there. Ah! Wow, what a sound! That's awesome! How come I can't make a big sound? Why can't I do it? Did you hear that? It's my herd calling. I'm gonna answer them if it's the last thing I do. What am I doing wrong? There's my herd. I wonder if they want to play with me. Hey guys, what do you say we play a game of... Whoa! Did you hear that? Did you? Oh joy! I wonder if they heard it. Ah! Oops, sorry to wake you. I was just so excited that I finally made the same sound as you guys. I'll be quieter. That's what I call fresh air on the open range. My name is Ineosaurus. That's i ne o -saurus. It means buffalo lizard. Did you know that I'm from what is now known as Montana? Only here, nowhere else in the world. You know, there's more to the late Cretaceous period than trees and stinky flowers. I'm a ceratopsid. That means I'm a herbivore. I eat plants. And I have a beak. And we have these big curved horns on our noses. Looks like a big bottle opener, doesn't it? Too bad there's no such thing as bottles in the late Cretaceous period. And I live in a big herd, which is great if there are any big dinos around that might be a threat. Just one of us might not be enough to scare off a big gobbler dino, even though we're six meters long and weigh two tons. But put us all together, and there is safety in numbers. And hey, if that doesn't work, there's always the old stampede! I thought you'd pass right by. I'm Eustreptospondylus. That's pronounced Eustreptospondylus. But you can call me Esther. This is my island, here in the Middle Jurassic period, nearly 160 million years ago. Pretty nice, huh? Eustreptospondylus means well-curved vertebrae, which are those bones in your back. As you can see, we are great dancers. Theropods like us are naturals. A theropod means two-legged dino, by the way. This makes us great at doing things on two legs, like running and dancing, and you can tell how much I love to dance. We're pretty long, about the size of a city bus, and we're four meters high at the hips. That's like how high you can jump up on a trampoline. Like most theropods, we have big teeth to eat with and two small arms, which makes it hard to clap, but perfect for playing the maracas. You know what time it is? That's right, limbo time! The limbo king! Only one thing to do now. 
give the trophy to the best dancer around. And then, what else? Dance! Oh yeah, so good. Love it. You should taste these plants and grass. It's so good. Oh, excuse my manners. My name is... So hungry. Oh yeah, my name is Brachiosaurus. Wow, I'm hungry. Yes, I know I don't look a kilogram over 60 tons, but I'm still growing. I'll get to be about 16 meters tall. Anyway, I think there's a forest over there I can eat. After all, I'd eat my 200 kilograms of food a day. Aren't you scared of me? All dinosaurs are scared of the Allosaurus. No, no, I'm a Brachiosaurus, a plant-eating dinosaur. I'm a herbivore. Bye. Hmm, all this talk of food is making me really hungry. Huh? Huh? The herd! Yay! I thought I lost you guys. Excuse me while I join my herd. Oh, I'm lost again. Hey, look, a delicious forest. Yes, there you go. Well, hello. I'm Muda Burasaurus. Yeah, see you with me, Muda Burasaurus. And welcome to the early Cretaceous period. Yes, I'm named after Murabura, the place where they found my fossil in what is now known as Australia. As you can see, I'm the top of my game when it comes to eating these cicada trees. But how's your honking? Bruce. He can honk louder than any Murabura source around. Mm, yes, yeah, you see, we have these little honkers up here on our heads that we make our calls from. I challenge you to a honk off. A honk off, eh? Hmm, yeah, you're on. I'm a pretty big dino. I'm nine meters long. And I'm a herbivore. Not bad. But try this one. Good, that was a real good one. Uh-oh, we seem to have called the whole herd over. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have a honk along? Great idea. See you next time. <laughs> 